I was born in China and grew up in China. The city called Hangzhou, um, which is very close to Shanghai. Growing up, I most of the time I listening Chinese traditional music. Um, 70s, six, you know, 70s most of the time. Um, in the radio, always uh, like Beijing opera and all the Chinese traditional instrument play music. I play a um, very old Chinese instrument called pipa. Um, very much like lute. Um, is related with the Middle East wood, you know, European lute, American banjo, mandolin, you know, four strings um, plucking instrument. <laughs> uh, writing music um, to me is totally another sort of another word to me. Um, I grew up most of the time play music, play, you know, over 30 years, 30 something, 40 years. Um, I started, I think when I, uh, 10 years ago, or maybe 15 years ago, I started kind of play by myself, um, did some improvisation just for me, myself, like solo piece. Um, so that's kind of gradually um, to start kind of thinking how can I compose it for myself because I've been playing so many composers' piece. So, you know, kind of experience um, gradually leading me to that direction. In Chinese tradition, uh, kind of tradition, we, uh, we have score. We have a notation, but which is very different from Western notation. We have a Chinese notation and a pipa notation. Um, but most of the time, if you look at the, the score in those notations, still not get you uh, the whole uh, of the piece, the whole music style. So you have to learn from a master. That's a very traditional way to learning. Um, but in those scores, you, ha you got all the skeleton notation, but a lot of improvisation between. Um, very much uh, like Indian music, you know, other traditions, but very different from Western classical music. Um, I would say in the traditional pieces that I'm playing, probably there's 20% I improvised. Um, but if I play composed piece, I have to 100% <laughs> in the score, same exactly. <laughs> in my piece um, for Chinese paintings, um, I actually give, give string player a lot of freedom. Um, there's a four small sections, um, First section, very free. When I was in China, of course we heard it like, okay, string quartet, that title. I, I don't remember I really listened to some record, uh, say string quartet record. I don't think, I don't recall that. So um, I think the first time I actually really heard it from Konos and lively in front of me, um, early 90s. That was my first time see and heard string quartet. First of all, of course, I think of Konos, you know, definitely opened not only a word mind, um, experienced, it's just different than, than what I grew up with the tradition. Um, but also um, the concept of, you know, player, musician, play instrumentalist, and to start 
push them to writing piece, uh, that also to me um, uh, unbelievable. I didn't, I did not know like I could do this, but somehow I think Konos saw that, and they pushed me, they encouraged me like, yes, you do it, you can, you can. I think probably also during a lot of rehearsals and I kind of start to criticize <laughs> different pieces. Oh you, yeah, maybe this do that, maybe that better, we we'll be cut to that. So it's all through experience and I think it's great um, for musicians like me, mainly you know, grew up with a play instrument and never use pen, you know, to write down things. It's all in our hair or hair. Um, and to start thinking how can we do something um, through our experience and to give to younger generation um, to understand the music. You know, first of all, because of my background um, from China, so I, I do want to see that elements add in the string quartet rep repertoire. Not, I don't want to be like, you know, avant-garde kind of, I want to, I want something really real rooted in Chinese music, beautiful melody. That's the main thing to me because the traditional music in China, we are melody. That's the very important. So, um, but also I want, as a player, I, I understand how how difficult or how sometimes frustrated when you put a piece together, spend so many hours. So I want to have a lot of freedom, let the musician to be themselves and just guiding them and want them to free to, to speak their language. And third, I do want the audience um, walk away from the concert. I, want them to remember something different, something uh, experience they never heard, or they would say, God, that was beautiful, that was reminding me of China. So that's I wanted to hear. So the process uh, of creating my work is very different from, you know, from the uh, composer. Um, I'm not used to it writing down. I, I always want to play on my instrument and how feel. I can feel that, in, that music and, and, and then make a decision. Um, so I record it down, which is my like pipa solo piece. And then I went to studio, kind of play layer by layer, play four times based on that material, that first, first track. Um, so Danny Clare, he's amazing um, um, young composer and helped me to notate it down. I don't have any words to, to um, describe that feeling. Um, stand, jump on the stage and the audience, audience, you know, clapped, but not because you play, because you wrote that music and someone played your music and they create, you know, second creation again, you know, become alive. Um, it was really touch. I'm hoping for young generation, for young quartet musician, um, you know, doesn't matter where they come from, what country they come from. Um, first of all, I want them experience and wanted to share with them there's many ways to creative music. There's not only one way. And also there are many ways to play, to you know, play your instrument, to make a different sound. And secondly, I want uh, musically, because my piece is kind of very free in many, a lot of short stories, and be themselves and to use their imagination. And after that, when they played, um, I'm hoping they can visit those countries and to understand their 
you know, so many different cultures exist in this globe. Through, through my experience, you know, I grew up when I was playing instrument, I was nine years old. And all those experiences, I really, you know, hope, encourage kids to learn music. I think music will open your imagination. No matter what you do, you know, when you grow up, you probably, you know, scientist or writer or painter or even politician. But I think music connects you um, inside and also connect your inside to the world. Um, so to me, music gives me uh, so many benefits that's for, for as a human being. I really hope that the young people from the West Coast, especially those who the the 让大家知道中国弦乐作品也有这种比较旋律化的